Time to teach you all this secret to getting waxed quickly. Well, actually, there are no secrets. It's incredibly easy. If you do enjoy this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment on what games you'd like me to play because I make videos that are not Roblox Bee Swarm Simulator related. Be sure to check those out. I post every three days and uh, yeah, let's get on with the video. Ah, uh, so how do you get wax quickly? Well, there's like four different ways to do it. It's really simple really really easy starting off we have crafting and crafting is the most self-explanatory thing you probably already knew this was a thing but you go to the blender and you can craft yourself some soft wax some hard wax some swirled wax caustic wax um some waxes require other waxes like the previous tier of wax to craft it like you need three soft wax to make one hard wax or you need nine swirl or swirl that's a lot of swirled wax no i meant nine soft wax three hard wax to make one swirled wax and as you can tell hard wax is a, a bit pricey soft wax is really cheap to make um caustic wax is expensive so yeah as you can see the tiers go up soft wax being tier one tier two hard wax tier three swirled wax well swirled wax is sort of like an in the middle tier it's not a tier of the three waxes hard soft and caustic swirled wax is sort of its own type of wax i guess because you don't need swirled wax to make caustic wax if that makes any sense so i don't know swirled wax is kind of an outlier when it comes to waxes i've said wax about 40 times now and now you might be asking yourself william how do i get the materials to craft wax well it's simple and that is planters yep the most simple thing in the game really easy planters you don't even have to touch them you just let them grow in fields all of these items you already know how to get like enzymes bitter berries purple potions all of that but something you probably don't know how to get are honeysuckles i know when i first got introduced to waxes i was like what is a honeysuckle? Well, I'm here to show you how to get honeysuckles pretty quickly. Uh, all you need to do is get a plastic planter at the bare minimum. Uh, you can do it with a candy planter, the red clay planter, the blue clay planter, and what looks like the tacky and pesticide planter along with the petal planter. But anyways, what a planter is, is this little thing that grows in the field. Um, this is a blue clay planter. As you can see, there's a certain percentage on it. That percentage will go up the longer it is in a field and if you stand near it, like I am here, see how my bees are coming to my planter here? They're eating my planter, and then notice the percentage is going up. It speeds up the percentage, like the growth speed of your planter if you're in the field with the planter. And so once the planter's at 100%, you can collect it and it will drop honeysuckles. Well, it has a chance to. Most likely it will. Um, the red clay planter grows fastest in red flower fields. The blue clay planter grows fastest in blue flower fields. You get the gist of it. It'll tell you what field it grows fastest in. See, look at these right here. Tells you what field they grow fastest in. Also, planters can help you get waxes faster. Like the full wax, not just the honeysuckle. The entire wax itself, not just the crafting ingredients, the wax. On screen now, I will show you a little diagram made by O0 Omega, hashtag 0404 on Discord. Um, this is just a chart that was made a long time ago, like right when waxes were first introduced to the game. Um, this chart will tell you what planters drop, what, like, you know, waxes and what field they grow best in and what fields give you bonus items and stuff like that. So the red clay planter can drop you soft wax, hard wax, swirled wax, caustic wax, every type of wax you could ever imagine. So you pull out the red clay planter, pop down into the strawberry field and slap that into the field. Now you wait for your red planter to grow. And once it's grown, you collect it and it will give you some glorious wax. So for wax hunting, I suggest using the red clay planter in red fields. Next up, we have puff shrooms, and it looks like I might have missed the puff shrooms. I don't think so. Puff shrooms will spawn every 15th minute of the hour or 45th minute of the hour, like 3.15 in the afternoon, puff shrooms will spawn, or like 3.45 puff shrooms will spawn. So we gotta look around here um, for a puff shroom in a field. It's like a little mushroom with like a fart cloud out over it ah here we go here it is it's inside the mushroom field so you go here you pop this puff shroom and notice how it explodes into a bunch of other puff shrooms now what you do is you collect those puff shrooms and those puff shrooms will also explode and they will drop you little materials little items little bits and pieces on the field and you can collect those and sometimes it's wax the higher the level the puff shroom the better the rewards you get so the higher the level the puff shroom the better the wax you get or, well, the more wax and the more common wax becomes. Like, if you get a rare puff shroom, you can get some hard wax from that. 
Um, you get a lot of soft wax from like basic puff shrooms and such, like diamond puff shrooms. Are they called diamond puff shrooms? I think so. They will drop you some pretty good waxes. Yeah, see, there's a timer on these. So how in the world do you get the most out of it? Like the most puff shroom out of your puff shrooms? Well, what you do is you see how you defeat this puff shroom right here. And what's going to happen is possibly, which quite frankly it didn't, but here we go. Now it is. It's going up to the cactus field. Um, what you do now is you break the puff shroom and it will bounce across pine tree, pumpkin, and cactus field. Mine oh. didn't, but sometimes they do. And when they do, you can continuously bounce them between the three fields and you can get just a crazy amount of materials and a crazy amount of puff shrooms if you have like two people three people it gets nuts you can get some pretty good rewards and uh yeah so make sure you do puff shrooms as a group with people because it is timed and yeah you can help each other break the puff shrooms too puff shrooms as i said they spawn every 15th minute mark of an hour every 45th minute mark of the hour and another way to spawn puff shrooms is when a planter is fully grown like Let's say our blue clay planter down here was fully grown. It would have a fart cloud over it. Like it would literally emit the stink off the planter. Okay, it it looks when you collect the planter. And then what happens is you go around and you collect the puff shrooms to get wax. Simple as that. So all you need to do is just bounce it between these three fields and you can get some crazy amounts of rewards. Um, but warning, it is kind of difficult to get the puff shroom into these three fields because sometimes puff shroom RNG just hates you and it, <laughs> it won't go in the fields. Um, but yeah. All right, well, that's literally it. That's Wax is the easiest thing ever to get, so if you're struggling with wax, watch this video. If your friend is, send them this video. And if you'd like, subscribe and like the video. And I post some not Bee Swarm Simulator related videos on my channel. If you'd like to check those out, go ahead and go to my channel page, subscribe, like those videos as well, and let me know what games you guys want to see me play in the comments below. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye! Boy, I think that might have been one of the longest outros I've ever made. Like, that, that took, like, a good... 30 seconds just to say that all hey if you're still watching this video please subscribe it helps me pay for like you know food and stuff i'm kidding i'm joking 